कंप्यूटर साइंस डिसिप्लिन ऑफ गोवा बिजनेस स्कूल दैट्स प्रोफेसर रामदास करमरी प्रोफेसर टेल अस अबाउट टूडेज प्रोग्राम व्हाट इज द प्रोजेक्ट व्हाट स्टेज इट इज एट एंड व्हाट इट मींस फॉर द कॉमन मैन इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज दैट आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड सो रिसेंटली वी हैव अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वट इज द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया and this is a translation project government of india is now in a big way pushing for uh, creating uh, digital resources in indian languages because that is not being identified as a, what is say requirement of the future uh, as a, as a part of their what is say uh, all different projects that they are doing so this is a translation project and goa machine university translation. machine translation project and goa university is responsible for uh, bilingual translation between konkani and hindi and the other languages and are the other languages are uh, bengali uh, maithili marathi direct into hindi ha huh? direct into yeah, hindi yeah. so this is always bilingual from yeah. hindi to this languages and vice versa and all this will be done by using machine language technology for which of course we need to create a large amount of linguistic resources for training these models okay so that's our uh, what is say primary responsibility right now so this is a uh, what resources uh, like say for example we require a bilingual corpus yeah a set of sentences both in let's say hindi and the same sentence with the same meaning in konkani but that does not exist so you have to create it so we have few sentences okay. because of some previous uh, uh, projects that we have done but at the same time we need to create sentences uh, because not only we require around 2 lakh sentences minimum but we require them in a specific domain i think like say administration uh, judiciary okay education and other uh, domains like tourism agriculture uh uh this science and technology so words will so not do you need sentences ha huh? words will not do you need sentences no you need sentences this is for the purpose of translation right so when you say translation uh, you require basically a sentence is the unit of translation if yeah. it was just a word then a simple dictionary would have okay. been sufficient a sentence so it's a very interdisciplinary job in that sense so yeah so we require a lot of inputs from our language colleagues from yeah. our language colleagues so we do this together uh, with uh, what was to be our konkani department uh, before yeah. now our school of language yeah. chennai baba chennai baba school, school of languages, of languages. Yes. okay 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 so this is a 3 year project okay what so, stage are you all at so we have just started this is we have not even finished the first year and so we are in the first year and as a part of this project this is the reason we had called this meeting because we wanted to meet all the stakeholders stakeholders in the sense those will of course benefit from this project as well as those who can contribute and help us to complete this project yeah so because like i said uh, at the very uh, heart of this activity we yeah. is the data so for the machine training purpose we require a lot of data and a uh, good quality data so unless that good quality data is available the models that we will create will not be good enough right so if you want uh, good quality translation we require good quality data so the initial emphasis in the first year is of course creating all that data in all these various uh, what do you say <coughs> domains that i spoke of yeah. okay and the later on then the more emphasis will come on training as well as of course enhancing this data for what is the tougher part of the project the language so, aspect or so the technical for aspect for us see, i am a technical person i am from computer science we understand machine learning and training processes very well i see but the challenge of course is to create good data i see okay and one of the reasons we have called is and called all the stakeholders so they can help us creating this data like uh, i also pointed this during my presentation uh, IIT Mumbai has a system which is running which can translate from English to uh, Marathi or English to Hindi and they are using something like say 1 crore to 60 lakh sentences yeah in in large in, number in huge language. number so it's a huge number and although for our project right now our immediate target is 2 lakhs yeah okay even that is a challenge by itself yeah right but it's and not enough you are that's not good enough i think for a good enough system we would at least look at something like 10 lakh sentences numbers Maybe it's more. a numbers game it's a numbers game because one of the final deliverables is of course a working system and not only a working system where uh, the way we measure the performance right we use a five point scale 
something like this let's say not so good acceptable good very good excellent and each of them basically says that the translation how good is the translation yeah so you need to have at least say three and above to say that translation is possible i would say adequate 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 that means what it may not be a great translation but at least you will understand yeah. what was what Maybe. was being said in the original source language yeah. correct so the so the so the aim is that uh, at the end of the third year this bilingual system that we will create to translate between hindi and konkani okay at least uh, 60% of the sentences will fall in this top 3 category good very good and excellent if right. we manage that then we have achieved what we have set out to do as professor what is the state of konkani on the net online and what are the I, challenges ocr uh, 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 scanning many fields uh, so google translate whatever yeah so uh, Google Translate they have of course recently, recently. of course uh, included uh, go on konkani as they say and people can actually go on the net and actually check it out of course uh, the performance is uh, so so but okay. then again please remember that it is work that is still going on work none of these systems yeah. are fine it's a work in progress okay but of course uh, compared to let's say translations between european languages where they have been uh, what do you say working in it for many years they have far what do you say uh, accurate and better results mm. there as compared to indian languages and uh, especially with respect to indian languages konkani falls into what we call as a low resource language we don't have enough resources right now because to carry out all this kind of work whether we wish to do say text to speech processing or uh, text to text machine translation from one language to another language or from uh, uh, speech to text recognition okay you all require resources corpus text corpus speech corpus and uh, in konkani right now all this is being created okay so we it's a work in progress it's not a very digitized uh, language and it's not a very digitized language finding anything in digital form is very what is it difficult for example uh, uh, you have wikipedia and of course all of us use english wikipedia for those who may not know it's also available in many other languages including yeah. um, in indian languages hindi tamil bengali example, bengali Bangali, telugu they have, they have, punjabi they yeah. have lot of pages yeah. available but even there uh, we are at to catch up yeah okay so and uh, please remember this is done to crowd sourcing this is a volunteer job yeah so govan should come forward especially govan students because they are more tech savvy as compared to older generation so we if we want to adapt right. konkani to digital platforms or online platforms it's the young people the burden falls on the, the young initiative huh? okay and uh, do the job and um, it would be of help to us also because many of our sister languages indian languages when they are looking for data they can find online data and unfortunately we don't have that luxury uh, we don't find enough data in konkani and because of historical reasons even in konkani what has happened is uh, konkani people are spread over multiple vast region mm. uh, although there are around 35 lakh konkani speakers in india maybe around 10 lakhs are in goa so most of them are outside goa yeah. in karnataka so even when we sometimes find information it is in for example mangalore konkani or cochin konkani mm. what we are looking for is of course information in goan konkani so the dialect and the script issue is there but can it no, clear solve the script solve issue is there it is dialect issue of course is there in any language but can it help to bridge the gap in a so certain way so you have to start somewhere so at yeah. least the initial work that is being done in all languages whether it is hindi marathi tamil telugu is uh, what is considered as the standard language which is used for writing standard uh, text so in konkani also when we are doing the work right now we are doing it for the standard uh, language once we are done for the standard language then of course god willing whether when the resources and uh, finance is available it can be carried forward very easily for uh, other dialects of the same language so that is always possible thank you thank you so yeah. much sir koi rakhe koi plan